Hi guys, rare death. Pull the, let's get these babies cracked. <clears throat> there we go. getting bottomed out a little bit. Alright guys, I got that cleaned out, man. It's almost looked like that. <laughs> I ain't kidding. Run over a, a concrete curb it hadn't set up. All the stuff that got plugged up in there around that bolt head was just like concrete, man. It's crazy. Anyway, got it cleaned up. Let's, uh, See if we can break her free. There we go. Loose as it was, it might be a good thing. I had something there jamming it up. some breather action going. Just a little drip drippy. Now that's kind of nasty. That's been the nastiest, funkiest one so far. Drain out and do the deal, baby. I guess since this baby's coming out so funky, I'm gonna pump a little bit in there and clean flush it out a little bit. There we go. It was running black. I don't know if you can see it or not. Now it's cleaned up pretty good. All right. Got the drain plug. Just threaded loosely back in. Gonna get it torqued up. 36 foot pound. Drain and fill those. Supposed to be uh, 1.4 quarts, 24 millimeter socket, 36 foot pounds of torque for both drain and fill. Fill her up. That's just frightening words these days. Fill her up. It's some expensive words. Whether it be gas, oil, groceries, anything. There's a GL5 and the rear diff here. 75 W90 is what it calls for. Let's 
tell you what, I'm not so sure their uh, stats aren't wrong. I think this has the bigger rear end, to be honest with you. Look how thick that back pumpkin is. This is, I'm already halfway done with a gallon here. Yeah, this definitely has a bigger diff. I think we might be getting close. There she comes. And it's a whole lot more than a quart. A quart and a half. It's about two and that's probably three quarts. Worker and we are done. There we go, thirty six foot pounds. 